All right, gonna play something new today. Uh, play some Turbo Fog. Um, you guys already probably know what this deck does. It's you know a deck that ramps into like a big planeswalker and then uses the planeswalker to kind of like spiral out of control with search and um, with like search and next okay, it's Nexus of Fate and then uses planeswalkers plus like search for his cantos to kind of just go off and go nuts. So I do like playing this deck. A lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how good it is anymore because people seem to have kind of at least figured out what's going on and have decent game plans against it. So it might not be a super deck for like for an upcoming event, but it's a lot of fun to play. So I just felt like playing this tonight. So tonight we're going to play some Turbo Fog. Hey, Archmage! Event tickets. Are there chat rules? Didn't even know there were chat rules. Treat others as you like to be treated. Well, that's a good chat rule. You back from your vacation there, Archmage? Shows Q and the U Dove control hater did well in the open. I saw that. Yep. I saw they did. I hear Schultz Cubes has been spending time in the lo the the loam dojo. Now the hard part about this deck is playing it fast. It's not timing out. So that's gonna be our main goal of tonight. Kind of like the first, the first big part about playing this deck is developing its mana base. And we're going to keep this hand because we have a search for his Kanta. I play four searches because I just like, I feel like the games are just completely different where you, when you have search versus when you don't have search. Like whenever you don't have search, this deck feels just so much worse. Because the deck's ultimately about like finding to fit, like stabilizing the board and then finding and playing a Teferi. And search is like really helps you find Teferi. And set everything up. Like, this is very much a Teferi deck. And, like, it doesn't do as much without it. Well, we have Planes, Planes. We're playing against, like, a blue-white control deck? No, we're playing against a white deck. Okay. So we're going to look for a green land here to just set our mana up so we can play Teferi next turn. I think I'm actually going to bend this Karn. And the important thing about bending that Karn is that we only have one more left in our deck. So that's important to know. So we'll ditch this search. <laughs> yeah, the important part of this deck is like flipping is getting to where you can flip your Escanta quickly and having a Teferi on board. If you can do both of those things, you're in good shape. But it can be kind of hard to do. We're, we're getting beat up on pretty early already here. All right. I guess we're just going to glimmer at the end of my opponent's turn. And then we're going to use the Root Snare to protect the Teferi. Because if we can just get a couple turns with Teferi going, we should be okay. That was a Shalai. Okay. Shalai's going to be kind of annoying. Make sure we can't bounce anything if we need to. It kind of sucks we haven't had our, we don't have our mana set up. Okay, so we actually... I think we don't want either of these. The problem with not taking either of these is they're both at the bottom of our deck. Oh, we need an untapped land. Haze of Pollen. We actually probably want this haze because it just gives us another fog. 
Oh, nope, we didn't want it. All right, so let's chart. Ditch this, play this tap land. And then we're just gonna do this now in the upkeep. So then we can just F6. And now we're gonna start playing Teferi and start going here. And now this flips. So I do think we want Hazel Pollen. We do want to flip this because we're just going to want to like make it so that our Teferi, we get as many turns with our Teferi not under pressure as possible. So draw a card. There's our land. We're going to untap these two lands. So we're actually going to, on, on our turn, we're going to upkeep, activate our search for his Kanta so that we can flip this and get another mana. We should be just about to turn this corner. Cast. Because this just saves us mana. Because we're very close from being able to do what we want here. All right, so okay, so we take Karn, we put this in the graveyard, flip this, keep the untapped one, play Karn. I should have done to fairy first, but play Karn. Tick up. We're just looking for fogs at this point. It was two of them are on the bottom of our library. Our two extra turn things. So that's going to make everything a little bit more difficult. But as soon as we find one, we're in good shape. So let's play this land. Nope, we already did play our land. So now we pass till the end of the turn. Untap two lands. Root snare. Then pass. How many fogs have we used? Oh, Moto's tweaking out. Oh, my opponent scoops it up. All right, well, that's nice of them. That's a place where it's not really good to scoop. So against the creature decks, we want this, this, and I think we want Rashmi. I don't know too, too much about this deck, but I think this is another thing we want because they're just going to struggle to kill this, and if this just sits there, it's going to do a lot of work. So let's cut this. We can cut our Supreme Will. We don't want to cut any of the fog. We don't want to cut any of our wind conditions or the ramp. I usually like just shaving on chart and search in these kind of situations. Sort by converted mana cost. A lot of fives. That's why I don't really ever like cutting. Um, I don't really ever like cutting any of the ramp. But I guess you can probably cut some against the control decks. I really I like this deck a lot. I don't know how good it is because people might have like figured it out, but it is a lot of fun. Until you have to like start like until you've won the game, but it's difficult to win it, and then people just keep making you go through all everything. It's okay. Hopefully this charter course finds us either some mana development or a search for his canta. That's what we're looking for. Oh, they have a spyglass. 
So the Spyglass Names of Perry. This is a problem card that I always forget to address, but we do have Lyra's in, which Lyra should help. And then we've got the Rashmi also. But I should always like hedge and just board in like one whatever it is, invoke the divine all the time, I feel. Because I always do get got by this thing and I just forget about it. So let's chart a course. Just looking for a search for his canta at this point. Ditch the land. We just want to make sure we have our mana developed. I didn't see blue from them in the entire first game. Huh. Drawing another Teferi is no bueno. So let's just get an island, pass the turn. Mana's looking good. We just need something to like begin to like get more going on with our next. It's just something to like help. No, oh, geez, they have two of these. So this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be like something where we need to set up a Lyra because this probably names Search for his or as Kanto the Sunken Ruin. Another Teferi. Okay. So double, double, so these aren't doing anything. We'll just move these over here. Let's cast this to start. Hopefully we can find a search. Okay, so we're gonna ditch this. We'll cycle this irrigated farmland at the end of my opponent's turn. Oh, so now you just snap this off, make it so we can't draw cards. This is the least they should do. I'm likely going to main phase this as soon as I have lands in play because I want to be able to hit that chart, of course. Or I'm going to do it in my opponent's upkeep. I guess I can wait. Leave mana up. They might have like a Teferi of their own. Why? Okay. And now let's draw some cards. Need like a search. But then they're gonna be all like search isn't gonna flip. It's an online card spells. That costs less than spell. Huh. All right, well, we're going to cast this. I haven't played with this one yet. I was trying some cool cards that I was looking to play with, and then I saw this one. I wanted to try try this out and see what it was like. We're going to cycle this, and then probably just start nexusing, at least while we have this Rashmi in here, and hopefully we can kind of gain a little bit of... Uh, Get a little bit going on. It's kind of unfortunate drawing three Teferis after they had already been spyglassed. Okay, so there's Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I'm going to try Nexusing on my opponent's turn, like on their upkeep. How does this work? So I have one cost this one. You may cast it without using its mana cost. So then I should do this on our turn so that if yeah, I can hit this off of this and still do something. Because like if it's an instant, I don't think I can do it on my opponent's turn. Or it's not a sorcery. Or it's if it's a sorcery. So then negate the nexus. And we just won't cast this. We do get to draw it, which is nice. So next turn, I'll lead off with the search and then go with the Karn, I think. It is nice that you get to just put this in your hand if you're not going to cast it. 
I guess now that was stupid because of the, we want the car to get off first. My opponent's out of cards, so we are pretty close to stabilizing here. We're just looking for like a Lyra at this point, I think. Okay, so there's the Lyra. And I'm just going to attack and ditch it to Fairy. And then we'll grab the Lyra next turn. And the Lyra should be big game. This flips also, which just gives us more mana. Which is like all you really want. Okay, so they scoop it up. So even though they took out to Fairy, which is our, our best way to win, we still... Still can power through. All right. No, it's just been cold to the Lyra or something like that. It's an odd scoop. <clears throat> Man, all the uh, pros are playing blue black mid range. Like, like blue black mid range just like completely cleaned up at all the Grand Prix this weekend. Like, just a, even people that were on red black switched off of it, which is pretty cool. Shows the metagame still moving around. So I played a PTQ today. Lost in the quarterfinals, which was rough. Yeah, it's kind of a bad, bad beat. Played Mario Pyromancer, one game one, lost two, two pretty tight games. So that always kind of stinks. I did get two two fairies, though. That was my winnings. So that was nice. Probably end up playing Grixis Shadow this weekend. I'll probably stream that a little bit more this week. So I'm ready to go this weekend. Okay, I would like to play first, yes. And this hand's okay. It needs one more land. But if we get one more land, it's, we're pretty decent. We're on the play because we can so we can hit we can hit like Karn on four with a little bit of extra mana. So that is good. We just need like either a search for his Kanta or a land off the top. <clears throat> I would take either. My opponent's probably thinking like, what is, what is going on here? Play a Scattered Rose? I kind of want to play maybe this Turbo Fog deck in the Classic. I'd like to give that a try maybe this weekend if Modern doesn't go well. Inspiring Vantage. It's like a red white aggro deck. Like a Jeskai control deck. We're going to see a Bowman. Oh, it could be like that Gear Hulk deck. What are they doing? 
playing so slow. All right, it's all scrimmage. It's odd they're playing white. Right, we need to land off the top. Land off the top, we're doing okay. If we don't hit a land, we're not doing okay. Oh, jeez. We need to land. That's not good. All right, we're just going to cast this because we got to cast something here. We don't want to end up discarding next turn or taking too much damage in order to be able to come back. Now it's all about just surviving because our mana is set up. We hit a third land drop. We're going to be good. We're going to be able to, like, take away from some of their attack. So we just need it's like a path of metal. Is that what we're looking at here? I have no idea. I have no idea what the red white is it's usually a red black splash. Path of metal. Okay, so what does this do here? Just one damage. Just all right. That's kind of cool. All right, we land. That's likely the game. That's likely. It's probably lights out for us. There's like, like land hazard. Also, that could be bad. Uh, let's read that. Red toy. Hey, Nameless, how you doing? I got uh, lost in the top eight of a PTQ today, which was always kind of sad. I don't really see how I'm winning here, but I guess we'll play it out to the final bell. Yeah, it was a good, good day. I ended up getting two Teferis out of it, so... It was nice to walk away with something, but it would also be nice to win. Obviously, get an invite, but now it's off to the SEG next weekend. That's the next thing I have going on. So we're coming in for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three, five, six, eight. Okay, so we can actually start nexusing next turn. Like we have to find something. Like actually, if we hit it to fairy, we're kind of doing it because we play to fairy, can tick up. This is five. Five, seven, nine. So like a burn spell here kills me, or this thing kills me. Yeah. So we're dead. We're just gonna hope our opponent misses it. You being able to play in um, some PTQs up there or down there, down where you are, or are they not as plenty down there? So we go to two, and then they path of metal us. Yep. Well, them's the beats. Sometimes we miss some lands. All right, so I think I want this because it's a body. And then I want Fumigate and Lyra and just cut all like the fat. Nope, nope, we gotta cut one more card. We miscounted, don't do this to me. I'm going to cut a surge. Come on. I will play soon, but expensive. It's a little far away from the city. Oh, yeah. Do you have to, like, make a trip out of it? Where is 
So I want some charts back in. Yeah, I mean, it's the we get. I get to play in. If I wanted to, I could play in two PTQs a weekend, within I don't know two hours away from where I live, probably, and that's via you know public transportation. So it's really not that far. I'm pretty lucky with how that works. You just gotta come up here to the states and stay with me during the PTQ weekend, PT, modern PTQ season. That's what you gotta do. All right, I'm going to keep this. We're on the play. We've got a root snare and a fumigate. So, like, if we can hit something to use our mana on, on like, turn three, this hand's pretty solid. You, your wife will be super happy. Yeah. She, she yeah, she'd be very... Who are these strangers? Okay. So I actually do think I'm going to cycle one of these lands. Because even if I cycle one of these lands, I still can't play Teferi on five. Or play Fumigate on five. No matter what. So I do think that we're going to get a new land under here. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'll do. That's what I'll say. Yeah, I didn't stream too, too much this week because my wife was gone for two weeks, so I wanted to hang out with her while I was home, see my dog. <clears throat> Probably stream a little bit more this week. I'm just a little burnt out on Grixis today. That takes a lot out of – to play a whole day Grixis Shadow at like a high, you know, a high stakes or like a PGQ where like it really matters to me, it takes a lot out of me. Because like it's just stressful. Playing Death Shadow is like it's just so stressful. Like the the margins are the margins are narrow. Like oh, it's just tough. Yeah, just tiring. Okay, so now we can hit. Okay, so play another one of these. End up cycling another one probably. And I'd like to be able to set something up where I can play Teferi plus. Root Snare and then Fumigate. There are a lot of decks there. Exhausting to play. Yeah. Like, I just woke up today. I was just like, oh, I'm tired. Until next time. I say, I was very exhausting to play. Is that because there's like a lot of game actions? Or what, why is it, what makes that difficult to play? So I'm kind of tempted to like fume the root snare on this turn and then fumigate on my turn, especially if they tap out. Because they can't get the Bomac couriers. Yeah. I just played like a really tense match against Burn today, and like I just needed like a break. I don't play settle, so we can always yield to these. Actually, I think we're going to let this go. I'm going to play my Teferi. Tick my Teferi up. Unless they tap out here for something. Which they are. What is this? Hazret? Alright, I think this is probably too good not to take here. Especially with the Bowmats. One game I did Shadow my first 7 turn. One game I did my first Shadow turn 7. Oh yeah. Those are the tough ones. So this is going to gain us a bunch of life, three life, but it makes it like the bow mats don't come back. And next turn, hopefully, we can play, ha like, if this Hazard, especially if this Hazard doesn't clock us. He's got, like, an Earthshaker Tanger, and I can go, like, ditch, play Kenra. Oh, that's tough. But he sounds like he slogged through it. I was so close to beating a blue-white player today. Oh, it strikes me. Pitches a card. Okay, plays this. Oh man, am I just dead? No. I'm likely dead next turn, though. 
So well that buys me time. So let's just keep developing our mana. Pass. Do this now. Wish I had something more to do with my mana here, but. So as long as they don't find like an insult to injury or two removal spells, should be okay. Because next turn, I go one, two, three, four, five. Play another land. So I have six. One, two, three, four. Untap this. Untap another land. I might have to like cold Nexus next turn, because I likely can't give them another combat step where they're gonna kill me. Unless I draw like a Lyra, I guess. So this is like a red source would deal damage. So I basically have to like survive, like not give them another turn back. Ditch a card. The problem is that this hazard's gonna deal a million damage to me. So one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Five mana, untap. So then I have three left, untap six. So that doesn't quite do it. Because he just goes ditch ditch, and that does eight to me. So I have to just Nexus. And then go fishing again next turn. Unless I went to Fairy Tick down on this, and then Haze of Pollen also. I could do that. Let's try that out. I just need to untap with this Teferi. If I can untap with this Teferi, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. So he dishes this, I got a five, we haze, and then next turn is my chance. If we can keep this Teferi around. Ditches the Crasher. Oh, don't shock my Teferi. Shocks me. Still not dead. If we can untap here, well, like. We're at least taking Teferi, we're doing Teferi with extra turns, which is like step one. Still going to take quite a bit to win this game, though. Yep. You need, my, you need your computer charger? Where is it? Okay. Was that? I was yeah. And just hope they don't have a burn spell here. No insult either, okay. So this draw set's gotta be good. This draw set's gonna be something like a search for his Kanta. Chandra. Okay, that doesn't matter. None of this really matters. Because we're at one. We just gotta like just make it happen. Okay. That does not count. So, yeah, cycle this. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take a turn. It's my turn. We untap these two lands. We're likely going to need, because we have to take all the rest turns, so we're likely going to need something like a Searcher's Canto. Jeez. We could just top deck those also. Whoa. All right, so now we think. So one, two, three, four, five. Tap this in response. Untap it. So that's four, six, seven. So five. Tap in response. And then untap this and another land. So we have two, four, five, six, seven. Geez, crow. We're going to do it. Oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. That was like the perfect set of top decks, though. So untap here, here. The Nexus. Draw another card. Cycle this. Jeez. These are running pretty hot at the moment. So let's let's just try to attack them and kill them here. On my last turn I'll hit this Chandra if I have to. These have been some serious hits. Though like we this is running really well. So two, three, four. So we can just do this now. Take another turn. My opponent's probably like rolling over in their chair. This is a this is pretty lucky from us to hit pretty much as well as we did in the, these last couple draw steps. Yeah. Untap these two. All right, nice. So now we're now we're in good shape here. So now it's all just going through the motions, but it is nice that the Lyra is going to finish the game pretty quickly. The only thing we need now is just a way to find um, is just a way to find more nexuses off of these searches. But I do just have to take like, I don't know, not too many more turns in order to be good here. So now let's float mana, untap these two lands. Take another turn. My opponent's not very happy. But I guess I don't really blame them. Well, there's Surge. So now we're going to attack this. I guess we should just, uh, I guess we can just attack our opponent. What are they going to do to hit to kill this? But I guess if they kill this Lyra, we're in big trouble. So let's just hit this Chandra, play this Search for his Kanta, and then um, try to figure it out starting on next turn with the Search, which we should be good.
So we're likely going to lose our Teferi here, but this search for Escanto will probably find us more Teferis, or as long as we keep Lyra around, I'm not sure that we can we can lose. We'll be in good shape. Yeah, he's pretty mad. I mean, I've had, I had some pretty serious rips there. Like I, they, he passed the turn back at one life. I passed it back to him at 22. So, what are you going to do? But that's why this deck is sweet. So where are these going? These going to me or going? To, they're going to Fairy. Okay. But now that we have Surge, we're we're likely in pretty good a pretty good spot. But it didn't even kill my Fairy. What happened there? Oh, so we sent Hazard this, but this and me. Oh, it looks like Moto's lagging here. I oh, just scooped it up. All right. Well, good way to start the league, or start the game at least. I forgot that was the only first game. Um, on the draw, I guess we're just gonna keep it the same. I don't want to take out any of my mana. I kind of want another search for his Kanta though, especially on the draw. It's just so nice to slingshot your mana, like go from five to seven or something like that. So let's try this. <clears throat> I have to restart Moto a lot tonight, I feel. I feel like. Uh, we'll keep this one. We got a Teferi. We want something to accelerate our mana. Like a, a gift of the paradise or something like that would be really sweet. So we're going to be able to play Teferi at least. wanted to play that because I wanted to be able to have a white source guaranteed. If I cycled this land, I might not have a white source. Oh, that's a great draw. The search is just so sweet. Like, this is the card that makes this deck go. This and Teferi right here. This would not be a deck without these, I don't think. Oops, here in your graveyard. I think we're going to draw that. I just want to keep my head above water. Just like I'll fire one off now. And just so that we don't get like insult to injury out of the game. Or burned out. They're missing lands, which means they have a bunch of spells, though. No, I want this. Not going to use it because we need to use it while we have Teferi in play to make sure we're good. But then once we get flip this or get Teferi plus Gift of the Paradise, we should be in good shape because like, we're going to be able to Nexus on our next turn. We should not get burned out. It doesn't look like that's going to happen either. My opponent's having kind of an unfortunate draw. Um, 
Yeah, we can ditch this. Probably should have not played my land in case I hit one here. All right, that's a good one. Shocking me or shocking to fairy? So let's do this now. Just so that we can have six. Next turn, draw cards to fairy nexus. Don't insult me. Oh, let's look at what this is. Uh, they got me. If we could have gotten the Teferi down one turn earlier, we would have been all set, I think. But, I mean, that was also predicated on my opponent missing their land drop like they did. I'm just going to restart Moto quick. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Good end of the weekend. My name is Dylan Hovey, and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, Card Hoarder is a great bot chain that helps a lot to make streamers. Uh, to bring like streaming content to you guys by, by giving streamers cards. They're, um, they have a pro team. They're just one of the best bot chains in the business. So if you have any magical needs, magical needs you should check them out. Um, you can head over and watch all my stream archives on YouTube. All those are linked below. Um, my Twitter is also uh, linked below. You should check me out there in order to chat magic. Um, and Gamer Crazy is a store in, a store in upstate New York where I learned to play magic. So if you have any paper needs, you should check them out. All right, competitive standard league. Let's put the stream back up here. Um, all right, here we go. No, I did not win that one. No, my opponent, uh, my opponent drew an insult to injury, and that is the way you lose to the, uh, to the fog deck. That's the way the fog deck loses. They get insult to injury out of the game. I think I do want one more like commit memory kind of card to play because crybaby. Yeah, he was not happy. I mean, I got extremely lucky to get there. Keep this. We need a third land. We need a third land. We're in good shape. Old Carn Boy will bring us there. Isolated Chapel. So we're playing against Esper. This should be fun. Oh, that's like the best card to hit. So I think you just need to play four of these searches. Like, it's just your best card so often. It, it turns, it helps you find mana. Okay, so yeah, they're stumbling. So here's where we, this on the graveyard. No, we draw this. Gift up one of these. I like playing this deck so much that I haven't bought Magic Online cards in so long, and I bought four Nexuses. Okay. If near Deadlands, so it's like a black white deck. Okay. This is like the history of Benalia deck. Uh, yes. Which one lands? Hit to fairy. Yeah.
untap these. I'm not going to use this root snare. Use that next turn. And they're putting some real pressure on me. I'm going to play Karn 2 next turn. Hopefully find a land and then chart a course also. So it should be in good shape next turn. Just like another, what is this? Like a Johnny? Okay. So we are going to have to root snare next turn in order to make it out alive. Um, no, we're going to draw this. But we will play our Karn first. We hit double Nexus. Okay, so... So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn we can start to Nexus our opponent out of the game. So let's just get rid of this land. Untap here, untap here. Upkeep. Root snare so we can F6. The next turn the fireworks going to start. Next turn we're should be able to start doing some serious damage. The only thing that's making this not like super super good is that our um this isn't uh this isn't flipping next turn. Yes. Okay, they just scooped it up, which makes sense. Like we're we're easily gonna take that game over there. So now we're gonna bring in our alternate wing conditions and our fumigates. Cut our fat. I'm just gonna cut one more of these. I kind of like all the searches on the draw because like you just need some way to catch up. If you can flip it quickly, you're in good shape. <clears throat> oh, this deck is so much fun. It's very much fun when, like, you get rolling and then your opponents don't make you play it out, as bad as that sounds. But I'm fairly certain that if I play this at the play this, then it's just going to get real bad. Just because, like, you're going to end up going off and then somebody's not going to want to scoop, even though they're, like, it's like playing against Lantern. This is like the Lantern of the format. Yeah. This is the, just the Lantern. And in some ways, it's like Death Shadow Nameless in that it's all about, like, how many cards can you find? Can you see in order to make sure? How can you manage? How many can you make it so you see? I think you can because you just outmana them. Oh. So this probably takes my Gift of Paradise. A lot of disruption, but if they don't have a clock, then we're going to be okay. That's a good take. Definitely going to cycle that farmland. So let me go yield until next step. I would rather, I think I'd rather play against the control decks than the, um, than the whatever they are decks. Play against the control decks and like the red black decks. Good draw. So now, if we draw a Teferi, next turn is going to be sweet. Okay. Give me a Teferi. No Teferi. I almost want to cycle this Haze of Pollen because, like, 
just not doing a lot. So we're getting hit for what? Three, six. This is three, six, seven. I go to here. Seven. I think I'm going to cycle this Hazel Pollen. He's just not doing anything. And I have to find something to get going. I should have done this in response because if I... Yeah, so at least that's a, that's a critter. Okay, let's play this Karn. The other one's a Haze Pollen. So he's going to have to at least attack the Karn next turn in order to make so I can't fog. Okay, so he's just going all on me. It's wild. All right. Can we hit Fumigate? Two, three, four, five, six. So let's tick up. Cast Nexus of Fate. Oh, did I mess this up? Did I miscount? No. Okay. Take another turn. Okay, so now I have to go get this Haze of Pollen. Get this. And we're gonna just haze them. This is going to be, so what does this work? Whenever you cast first of the stream, you'll talk about, if it's a non-mana card, card that costs less than that spells, you may cast without mana cost. If you don't cast that card, put it in your hand. Okay, so at least this thing draws two cards a turn, as long as we have a spell. Okay. So search goes into our hand. Is a history or are they going to lost my me? Okay. Well, this isn't good. They probably should name Teferi, honestly. I mean, it might be better to just do Nexus of Fate here, but like Nexus of Fate. Yeah, I think that people should lost Legacy to Teferi. If, like, in the future, like, this is bad, but like, if things get close, you should always hit the Teferi, in my opinion. Because the Teferi is the card that makes the deck go. They do have all my nexus, so this is likely going to be pretty tough to win. So you got to hit the like Bane Slayer Angel pretty quickly. Turn off auto yields. Chart of course root snare. Okay. Oh, we hit a we hit a fog. Cycle this. All right. There's Teferi. Get another card, and you're going to farm land. Okay. So we have another fog at least stuck in exile. God, I lost Legacy again. So that means going to take Teferi. We choose Lyra. Okay. Well, that probably means I can't win. Because I have to win with like Karns, I guess, and I can't take. Infinite turns, yes, yes. 
All right, let's cast this to fairy first while we have the most mana. Draw a card. Let's get this root snare. Cast this. Put this thing into play. Did I play land? No. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so. So this guy comes is ready to go with all of his disruption. We are drawing a million cards a turn here, so like, it, I mean, we might have a chance, I don't really, I don't know. Yeah, you get my Teferi. It might be tough for them to beat the first one. I don't know, I feel like weirdly optimistic about this game. Well, we get Fumigate. Not going to cast that. Gain a bunch of life. Play Gift of Paradise on this. Play this. I'm gonna use my Teferi. Um, I probably should just go down with this Karn. And untap this, untap this. I will just ditch planes. Now I might actually deck myself here, which is another big problem, because I don't have a card that shuffles back in. So that's something that I have to pay attention to. So I might have to get aggressive here with, like, to fairy ticking down in order to be able to clear the path for my um, in order to clear the path for like these construct tokens to get in here. Um, let's just take a root snare at this point. So do I have another Karn? The Karn is somewhere in my deck. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. I'm looking for another rash me. Just no, right? That doesn't even get rash me. So we're just gonna pass, ditch a land. Man, there's a lot going on here. I don't think I have anything I can deal with that, but we'll just double check here. Yeah, we'll just take the search. It's kind of annoying because we have to like exile it. So it is just gonna eat like a Karn token every turn. That might be tough to beat. So there's Karn. So we'll make another Karn struct. 
Oh, Moto's tweaking out. Moto can't handle all the fog. Oh, they just scooped it up. I guess, I mean, I don't know if we were a lock to win that one or not, but it was close. So we got our Lira's taken away, and we got our, <laughs> we got all of our cards taken away. We still, we're still going to win that one, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to run, grab some more water. I'll be right back. I appreciate everyone showing up and hanging out. We're doing something different tonight, playing a little bit of standard. We don't normally do that. Play a lot of modern on this channel. I am going to stream some modern this week. I just need to make sure I got my deck set up and make some make some come to Jesus decisions about whether I want to play uh, Leyline of the Void this weekend or not. first and I would like to keep this hand's very good. We're probably gonna go tap land tap land spring to mind not go like tap land chart. Oh, playing black red, more of a artifact heavy build probably. So we have a turn forward fairy. Oh, awkward mana setup, but we did think we didn't have a two mana play there to kind of like capitalize. <clears throat> and now we just need a land. Untap land. And we're doing it. Even if we don't hit an untap land, we can like chart a course and find ourselves a land. So we can still go like this. Get on this land. And now chart. We did not hit a land, which sucks. Um, so next turn we're going to go five, tick up a bunch of mana. Probably just discard this. I kind of want all of these cards. The fact that the next time we're going to be able to tick up, play Hazel, play Teferi, and then be able to Hazel Pollen is, is awesome. I guess I could have ditched the Karn. I don't really know when I'm going to have the time to cast this Karn. Harvester? Whoa. Some of these guys playing Harvester in their main deck. Uh, white, blue, one. So we cast this. And then next turn we can Nexus. We can go like play search, respond to this, untap this three, and untap this one. So hit here. So yeah, we should be able to Nexus next turn. Because this, tap this. So we have two, four, six, leave this untapped, seven. So we can play search and Nexus next turn, even if we miss a land drop, which we didn't, which is great. 
So let's cast search. Play this. Respond to the Teferi trigger. Untap this. Untap this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're off to the races. Yes. So let's go like this. Because now we need a fog or a uh, nexus. Untap two four. Yep. So nexus is what we're looking for. Untap our two lands. And this should be not exactly locked up, but if we get to Emblem Arts of Fairy, it should be locked up. Uh, yes. Okay, so there's Nexus. So now we can play Karn. And we can just start making Karn structs at this point. Untap. Take more turns. Yes, and we would like to flip this because it just makes us mana. Get an emblem. Put on the bottom, put on top, hit this, hit this, make another construct. Um, I guess just play a new Teferi. We do miss out on, on um, whatever. Uh, we had another rune snare, so let's get this Bodad out of here. And now it's just. So now we get to the point where I ask my opponent to turn scoop because, like, the game's over. Because, like, it's basically a loop. Play this. Untap, please. Pass. Sweet. We're getting faster at the mechanics, too. So I'm only like 20 minutes in now. They're not going to scoop, which, you know, they can do. Like, I wouldn't want to suffer through this, but... But that's their right to do. This is where, like, I would just play face up, probably. At a main event, like, cause my opponent can just deal with this as much as they want. I should be doing this the other way around, but again, this we're just going through the motions here. And we would be doing more here than we than we have going on, but we're just gonna like do the bare minimum for time.
Because like the game's over, we just need to finish it within time. There, they scooped it up. Okay. And always thank the people to do that because they don't have to. Okay, so against red black, we've been boarding in these six against red black. It's, it's been decent, just cutting kind of the fat. Trying this out. Feels like it's enough to keep us. Like the four searches are just so good. Because not only does it like find you your Teferis, but it also just flips and makes mana, which is huge. So how's the Twitch chat doing tonight? Is everybody having a good night? I really want to fit a commit memory in this main deck. I think that's pretty, or at least a commit memory in my sideboard or something like an invoke. Maybe I forsake the Wardly. Wardly, one that I can like, one that I can cycle. Just to have an answer to that dumb Sorcerer Spyglass. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we have searches, so we're going to keep this. The bow dad on the play is probably pretty solid. It's got to be their best start. And hopefully this search finds us some mana accelerant. Like that's what this hand's missing. Cycle sweet. So now we're just looking at we're probably been anything that's not a mana accelerant. That is not a mana accelerant. Oh. I'm probably just going to root snare because I, I'm going to root snare now because I'm not using my mana and I don't want to be too low so that I don't get like insult to injury out of the game. Now we just want like mana development. Um, so I put this in the graveyard. Uh, I don't think I can. I gotta draw this, unfortunately. Now I could just jam another search just to make it so this search gets up there further. But that one card's probably not going to matter. Though it might. It's very interesting. I wonder when you're supposed to do this. Insult deals me 14 damage. 
I wonder if this is crazy. I think I'm going to do it. Because it's just going to get me closer to uh, flipping one of them. Ooh, we're going to take my Teferi. I might take my Root Snare. I probably should take the Teferi, though. When in doubt, take the Teferi, I think. Just just have the deck. The deck just operates so much differently without Teferi. Yeah. Let's go take the opponent. Yes. Teferi. Oh shoot! This is poor sequencing. Okay. So sadly, I think I have to get rid of this Nexus. So, like, we go upkeep root snare. Kept in some of their reach. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring in negates against this deck because of insult to injury. Just genuinely, genuinely don't know if that's right to do or not. Even Argles. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay, we have to ditch that. We use this. Draw. So one, two, three for this. Nope, we just got a fumigate. Land there would have been sweet. This might buy us enough time to go gift into search next turn. Probably not though. They're probably gonna put on enough power on the board where either way we're gonna be we're gonna need to like hit a fog effect, which we've got two more left in the deck. This is it duress, probably? If I do hit lands, at least I I, I can just canta into a fog. It's another duress. Maybe not. What is this? It's another like Bodad. Okay. Lost Legacy. Okay. So maybe I am supposed to bring in the gates against this deck. Take to Fairy. So now it's just like a mad race to Lyra. <clears throat> Didn't take the one in my graveyard. Maybe he plays the Eldest Reborn. That's why what that means. Alright, spring to mind is something. Hope they don't kill me. It's enough to kill me. Uh. No, just blood passing. Okay. All right. I ain't making it easy.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go for the Karn. Hopefully Karn takes us to the Promised Land. We just need like something to do with our Karn. With, like, we need to get some traction. So like we need to make it so that if we do hit cards for extra turns, we're doing something besides just exploring. Okay. Yep, you got it. Now, I, I keep wondering if I'm supposed to bring in the gates against this black-red deck. Kind of tempted. They have Bloodfast... Chandra and Lost Legacy. So like maybe I can cut one of these. Rashmi doesn't seem great. Let's just try this. Let me cut one of these and put the Supreme Well because it also counters like a Gideon. Let's try this out. No idea if this is right or not. But we're going to try it. I could cut a Karn also. Maybe Karn's good after sideboard. Let's play first. Uh, this hand's kind of ugly. I think I'm going to keep it though. On the play, I've got to search. I'd like to hit an untapped land. If I get untapped land next turn, I can play search and then start to just work. This hand like this, it's all just about like trying to develop the mana, I think. Alright, Bodad turn late. So it's probably their only land. Yeah, jeez. Okay. Oh, I should have played my Scatter Bros. They have lots of Bodads. Yes. Play this. Hopefully they don't Teferi me next turn, or they don't Lost Legacy me. Don't get Lost Legacy, I think we're in pretty solid shape. Because they don't have that much pressure on Teferi. They might have like removal spell, removal spell. Okay, so now they have some pressure. So we need a Fog. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, ditch this. I mean, we're not just going to do nothing with our Teferi. So we hit a fog here. We have eight shots, one and eight. Oh, yeah. Play this. So then we're going to start nexusing next turn. So the fireworks should start. Now they should. If they get to Fairy, they should, uh, if they lost Legacy, they should name Nexus, I think, because the Teferi is already in play. One, two. Yes. We just need to flip this Nexus now, or flip this search. That's not bad. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six. It's gotta be right to just slam this Lyra, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, or I can just take more turns. I think I wanna just take more turns. So if it takes turns when the Lyra's in play, but if the Lyra dies, then I think I'm a little bit 
a little more, a little further behind. I'd like to be able to play the Lyra and then be able to protect it. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now we have two. Play one more. <clears throat> okay. We've got two, so let's keep our Teferi around. Keep going all the way up to the ultimate. Yes, yes, flip this. So one, two, three. Then I can play land and still play Lyra. I'll just go to the Hazel Pollen. We should be good now. Now they might not even attack. This is one game where we'll, we'll win without without the Lyra in play, or without even without Nexus. Probably we'll just like keep looping, just keep like. Doing like knocking out their lands and stuff and then hitting with our Lear to win the game. Then I'm going to go right after their lands with my Teferi. Got another disintegration. All right, those did you bring in? Well, you could have Doomfall. Doomfall would be like a pretty legitimate card to have right here. And it should be tough for him to beat this Teferi ultimate, especially considering we're not close to dead. Doomfall, exile a creature. So I got both of my Teferi, both of my... Uh, I both my Lyras. Let's go looking first before we do anything. Nexus. Two, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Any other? So I think we're just going to start hitting their lands. So cycle this. We got a gift.
cycle. <clears throat> oh, I hit a land. That's my favorite thing to do once you get the Teferi Emblem. It's just oftentimes just right to like eliminate all of your opponent's lands. Teferi is such a messed up card. The card is just super obnoxious. My puffer, pretty boy. So there's a Nexus. Alright, so this game is not quite wrapped up, but we have enough mana set up where even without a Planeswalker we can kind of go off. Yeah, especially because of the Teferi Emblem. Alright, let's see if we can get the the 4-1, four 4-1, one. Four one. then I'll end the stream here. It takes a while to stream these leagues. I don't want to play too many more leagues. I'm a little tired. I just want to get a little bit more out there. I appreciate everybody for watching tonight. If you're on YouTube, I appreciate you for tuning in. If you're on YouTube, hit the uh, like and subscribe button. If you're on Twitch, hit the follow button. I greatly appreciate it. Hands kind of slow, but we do have a. Um, we can cycle a land. We have a Karn on four. This could be anything. I feel like it's important to just keep a lot of hands with this deck. Like, I don't think mulliganing aggressively is good in this with this deck. I think you want to just kind of keep sevens because you need critical masses in order to. To get there, I'm gonna lead off and play this glacial fortress. So my opponent doesn't know exactly what's going on to search this big game. Okay, so they're the low to the ground version. We're looking for mana development at this point, or to fairy. We need more of those. We don't have anything to do with one mana, so we'll just play a mat, play some pass. This is gonna be a tough matchup if I do, if I to think. Just super low to the ground. Okay. No, we're going to need that. Oh, so they're going to give me the Teferi. Or give me the island. Okay. Okay. 
We need a fog. It's all coming to me. Yep. What is this? Six. Seven damage between five. Okay, two wizard lightnings. Get me. I don't think we can mess around with this glimmer. Probably gonna give me the Supreme Will. Uh, I need as many looks at a fog as possible, and it's probably this one that does that. Jeez. Yeah, they got it. Just didn't see a fog in the top 38 cards or so, but sometimes that's how she goes. How's it going, Nameless? This is going to be the last match of the night. I'm a little tired. A mono red deck. So I think you just bring in the creatures. And then just cut all like the draw the, the draw spells. I can bring in another negate. Kind of char I could just bring in Brawl because it blocks. I'll try that. But I don't have any spells that to use it with. So that seems bad. Let's just play these guys. Get one more search. Just try this. I have to look up more like sideboarding guides on this and such. <clears throat> yeah, I think this. I think that search for his cant in this deck, Nathan, is different. Like, I don't know. Like, Search for His Cantor just feels like the best card in my deck. Period. I like this deck a lot. I need to look up on it more. Like, read up on it. Figure out how to sideboard and such. Matchups like this where I wish I had like a grow from the ashes in my deck too. Just like one more kind of speedy way to uh one more fast way to kind of get ex be explosive. I guess we can just do this island. Just like because deck's just so much better when you can ramp on three. Crashing. I don't think we want that one because we have another gift. The fairy just dies. So let's just do this. Probably gonna just play the island and look for a fog. Because if play a fairy with fog, we should be in good shape. But they don't insult injuring me out of the game. That's another thing that's hard to like sideboard against. Like if we're just supposed to like kind of say insult to injury is just gonna get us. You know, like just kind of punt that one away. On crop crash is annoying because of if I find the Bane Slayer Angel. Okay. Need a fog. Two, four, five, six. 
<clears throat> so where I need to just like untap, yeah, untap with the Teferi, but we might not get to. Yep, we're gonna put that in our in the graveyard. Getting dicey. Rut row two. I mean, we're pretty much dead. We just did not find what we're looking for here. Did I even play land? Yeah, I did. Yeah. GG's opponent. Hmm. I need to look up on this deck more because, like, uh, like it's it's like the fact that I don't know anything about it really, and I continue to do okay with it means that it's it's probably pretty decent. How much of how much of this have you played, Nathan? Just wondering. Here, just wondering. Open up our one pig chest. 